You're listening to Blue Please here on Wow Radio with myself, a Total Biscuit. Now, I've been sent a PM that promises, and I'm going to hold him to this, that when Blizzard announces Arthas as a five month boss, that I call the show Anti Climax, please. Okay, I've just called the show Anti Climax, please, and Arthas has been announced as the final boss of the five man on the website. Go and look at the preview, or oh, it's also an MMO champion. Therefore, you must give me a cookie and three bucks as promised. You can send the cookie to themurloc at gmail.com. You can send the money via PayPal to totalbiscuit at gmail.com. If anyone actually does want to leave tips in the tip jar, by the way, that's the place to put them. Entirely up to you. No judgments made. Always great to get little tips like, hey, here's two bucks. You know, we really like listening to your show. We really appreciate that you put your time out and actually do this for us. I don't expect everyone to give money. In fact, I expect the vast majority not to. That's cool. We put this out as free entertainment. I love doing this show. I love getting people's feedback. Positive or negative. If it's good negative feedback, I can improve the show. If it's bad negative feedback, I can ban you from the forums. It's a win-win. Bloody wonderful. How, what is it not to like? I've also been informed that I have a magnificent ball sack. As to why they think they know this, I am not entirely sure, I must say. Hmm. It's mysterious. I can, in fact, confirm, however, thanks to inside sources, exclusively, that I do, in fact, have a magnificent ball sack. That is all I'm going to say on the matter. Let's have a look at a terrible idea. Again. So back in the mists of time, there was an expansion called the Burning Crusade. And in this expansion, there were lots of hard dungeons. And this caused a problem for people. Particularly later on in the expansion when they were unable to find groups. So, here's what they did. They used a system called Badges of Justice. And these existed in the game before. You actually got them from Heroics, in fact. And you could use these items to buy some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, off hands, necklaces, cloaks, that kind of thing. They weren't great, but they were sort of starter level raiding gear. Yeah, like Karazhan level gear. Either that, or there was something very specific, like a fire damage offhand. Stuff like that. It was pretty cool. Everyone really liked the idea. It's like, hey, we can use this to supplement gear that we otherwise haven't managed to get. Or we can specialize. So what we don't do is put stuff like fire damage offhands in the loot table of a real raid instance. Because that annoys 95% of the people in the raid. Because they can't use it. So they put you put the specialist stuff in a vendor and people can buy it with badges of justice. Good idea, right? In fact, stellar idea. I don't know why they still don't do that. But of course they got rid of fire damage because it's too complicated. <laughs> people get confused. Ugh. Lord knows we don't want to let people specialize. What kind of MMO does that? Ah, uh, well, I can think of several. Anyway, that's by the by. There are no other MMOs, folks. Don't believe me. I'm lying to you. So, we were all pretty happy with that system. Until... Sun what? What did that patch do? I can tell you what that patch did. In fact, it might have even been before Sunwell. I honestly can't remember. It was quite a while ago now. There was a patch. And this patch changed a few things. To start with, it allowed badges to drop from raid dungeons, like Karazhan. Okay. Wasn't too opposed to that. That's fair enough. I mean, people weren't really doing Karazhan anyway, so it's an excuse to get people back in there. Especially the newer players. It's like, hey, there's Karazhan runs now that you can go on. Then they decided to give tier 6 level epics for badges. And there was much... What? And there was much... WTF, please. And there was much... Uh... Yes. All of these things. And more besides, I might add. Because people were wondering... Uh, but the, the badge system was good. Why, why did you change it? But why didn't you just put some more loot in there for, like, starter level stuff? Let people get their really basic raid set. And by really basic, I mean bottom tier. Like, tier 4 level. 
And even then, you'd be missing pieces. Let them get a little bit of a head start. Not give them items that are several tiers higher than the content they're doing. Now, of course, there was puzzlement. And there was outcry. And the raiders were like, what are you doing? And the same casual players were like, what are you doing? We didn't earn this. Why are you giving this to us? We don't want to be given handouts. We don't want to be given charity. We want to earn it on our own. And we accept that if we're not able to play as much as these guys, our loot might end up being a little bit worse. We're okay with that. But unfortunately, of course, the mouthy casuals came along and said, Ah, oh, we deserve it because we pay $15 a month. And Blizzard caved and caved and caved again. However, all was not lost because when Wrath of the Lich King launched, they launched tiered badges. Yes, various tiers of badges. And they said unequivocally that they did not want to repeat the mistakes of TBC. They did not want to repeat the mistakes of giving people disproportionate gear for terrible content and devaluing raid epics as we know it. They did not want to give charity to people. They did not want to demotivate people by doing things like that. So, they thought, took the best part of the badge system, which is, if you go back to the start of what I was saying, the ability to take specialized or otherwise nice filler items that are basic level by doing heroic level content. Which was a good idea, and everyone liked it. And they took that, and they took it to the next logical level, whereby you split it. Huh? The idea is that you can offset RNG. This is something that Blizzard have been trying to do for quite a while. They want to keep in random loot, because random loot's kind of exciting. And it makes it thrilling, it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Which, of course, is not particularly accurate. I know exactly what I'm going to get, because there's a little leaflet in there that says... Hey, this is a box of chocolates, and this is what they all look like. So I know exactly what I'm going to get from a box of chocolates. Indeed, I can buy a specific brand, and I'll know exactly what I'm going to get. However, let's throw the movie metaphors aside for a second. And say that it was supposed to provide a nice offset for people that either just got unlucky, or didn't want to spend DKP or whatever on tier items, or just... That maybe there were better items in badges just happened to be a bit more specialized what they were looking for. Maybe this guy over here has too much hit, and all that's dropping is raid level gear that's nice, but it's all got hit on it. So it's like, well, I don't want hit, so I'm going to replace a couple of my basic level items with some stuff from badges that have crit or haste or whatever on them. That makes sense. Nice for plugging the gaps, giving you the options. That's what it was for. That's why it was introduced the first time. So, they tiered it. It's like, okay, if you do this level of content, you get this level of badges, which entitles you to this item level of loot. And there's a separate vendor that gives this item level of loot from this level of badges. And they allowed you to take two pieces of tier items from each of them. It's like, hey, maybe you're getting unlucky. It's possible. Maybe it's just taking ages. You really want to get your tier set completed, but you don't have enough DKP. You're doing the content. You deserve the loot because you're doing that level of content. So here you go. If you do enough of that content, get enough badges, you can buy it. Is that unreasonable? No, absolutely not. That is common sense. That's a very good way of doing things. Why would it not be? And of course, by splitting it off, you make sure that you get the appropriate reward for the appropriate risk. You do this difficulty level of content, and that will allow you to get this level of loot. That makes sense, right? What's so unfair about that? Surely. That sounds great. Honestly, why would it not? That appeals to everybody. The casual players, here you go. Here's some loot. Here's some loot equivalent to the content you're doing. Here you go. We accept that your play style is a valid one. So here's some loot that's proportionate to the amount of work that you're doing. And proportionate to the difficulty of the content you're doing. So we get to keep our difficulty levels intact, we keep the player base stratified, which of course it should be. We don't lump them all together in one place and believe that we can cater to all of them by doing the same thing, because of course, different people want different things. And everything's nice and happy flower kitten land. The spaceship full of dreams, we get to fly around and explore the galaxy. Then patch 3.2 arrived. Oh god. Patch 3.2. 
where you decided to give tier 8.5 level content, tier 8.5 level loot, to anyone that could set foot inside Utgard Keep. And there was much WTF. Because Blizzard said only a few months before that, we didn't want to repeat the mistakes of TBC in terms of the badge system. And everyone was happy. Literally everybody was happy. When was the last time you saw a single complaint pre the 3.2 changes about the badge system? I never saw one. Not one. I'm sure there are a couple of absolutely incredible rants. You know? No credibility whatsoever. Like, oh, but I want this. I want to be able to exchange heroism for valor. No, you don't get to do that. Because if you did the level of content that gave you valor level loot, then you wouldn't have to exchange anything to begin with, right? And if you want to just spend those heroism badges because you've got nothing else to spend them on, well, there's gems. You can sell them. There's orbs. You can sell them. What's so unreasonable about that? It's not like Blizzard uh, saying, ah, you're stuck with this currency now. Ha <laughs> ha We got you this time. Now we're going to steal your Thunder Fury! <laughs> no, Blizzard are not universal pranksters, folks. They don't do that. So, we got rather pissed off about that. And indeed, I did an entire show on how it was stupid. It's called Badge Please. People seem to like it. A lot of good comments from that one. A couple of negatives, which I laughed at. Because they were all very entitled. So, you'd think, after the outcry of that, that Blizzard would have probably realized that doing that again would be a really bad idea. Especially with the last instance of the expansion. The big one. The one that everyone's been looking forward to. Perhaps the biggest raid dungeon in terms of lore significance and in terms of epic encounters that Blizzard has ever put out. We hope. So what did they do? Well, of course, were I sane Blizzard, and were Blizzard sane Blizzard, they would have said, right, this is where it ends. This is the final instance of the expansion. You have got to be at least this high. You know, you've got to be this tall to ride. You've got to be this good to enter. Simple as that. You want that tier 10? Then work for it. We've given you free tier 9. We've given you free tier 8.5. We've given you all this free loot. It ends now. Go run TOC. It's not hard. Go run Anixia. You can get some of those godlike items in the game from running Anixia of all bloody things. Seriously, have you looked at the Netherwind Helm from 25 man? It's obscene. It's like, I think it was something like the third best helmet in the game, and there's barely a difference between the best helmet in the game and the Netherwind Helmet. It is absurdly good. I, I plugged it into Ra and had a look at Ra, and I'm like, what? Are you serious? Look at this! Even the 10 man's like the fifth best hat in the game. It's ridiculously good. You don't even have to work for it, you just gotta show up. So here you go, you've had all of this. This is supposed to, right? This is the idea, you're supposed to prepare them, right? This is the only good excuse for giving people this level of loot. You are preparing them for the challenge. You are giving them the opportunity to say, right, we've gotten all of this loot. We have been given the great equalizer over and over and over again. We are on equal footing with these guys. That means we get to demonstrate our skill and not be held back by the fact that we're not a bunch of basement dwelling poop suckers. And we're wiping again and again and again. How can this be? I know how it can be because you're terrible. That's how it can be. Now, I should probably mention what I'm actually referring to. Those of you who've probably worked it out by now, it's on MMO Champion. They have are introducing a concept called weekly raid quests, which involves the killing of certain bosses, and it rewards you with not one, not two, not five, but ten! Ten emblems of frost. Yes, that's tier ten tokens, folks. Ten tier ten f f tokens. So... What are these bosses? There must be hard bosses, right? You know, like Yogg-Sauron. Stuff like that, right? Right? Wrong. So, so wrong. Flame Leviathan must die. Noth the Plaguebinger must die. Sartharian must die. 
Oh god! Have you learned nothing? <laughs> it's... That's tier 7 level content! Why are you giving people tier 10 badges for it? In any amount! It doesn't matter if it's 10, 1 or 100! They're not doing tier 10 level content, they shouldn't be getting tier 10 gear! You might as well just abolish the tiers completely because they're unfair! It's okay guys, go run next, we get our full tier 10.75 and we're doing everything else just because it's fun. Die.